Hello everyone. Welcome back to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm going to give you a walkthrough how to add custom fields into an object by using force.com IDE. In one of my previous video, I have demonstrated that how can we add a custom object on an application, on a Salesforce application by using force.com IDE. So in continuation of that, I'm going to add few custom fields into custom object by using force.com IDE. So let's start implementing same. So as you can see here, that's my Salesforce application where I have added BISP force.com custom object by using force.com IDE. So let me take you to the code where we have done this. So as you can see here, that's the force.com ID using Eclipse I'm using. And as you can see here, I have added an object BISP force.com object. And I made some changes here. I said we can, as you can see in this coding, we can set the label, we can change the label, we can set the type. And there's an option here for plural labels and so on. In same manner, if I want to add one checkbox or if I want to add a currency field on the same object, right now you can see here we have this object bisp force.com object. So if I access this object, it contains only one field, one standard field that is bisp custom object. So this is incomplete object and I would like to add, add few more fields by using force.com IDE. So I switch there force.com IDE and to create a field it's very easy if I want to add a currency field so I simply create here field and then full name full name I'll give full name as salary underscore underscore C because it's a custom field, so underscore underscore C is mandatory. Default value, I said default value 15,000. External ID, I set as false. Label, I set as salary. Precision is for 16. Required, I set to true. I make it mandatory. Scale is 2. And track, track history, I set to false and type is currency type so that's the type of the field so that's the currency type field. so that's the one field in similar way if i want to add one more field uh, for which will hold the value as date so or and let's say the birth date so again what i can do is i can copy paste this or let's say I add a field here and within field because most of the tags are same so we can copy paste the tags and then we can make the changes as required so here that's the salary one I don't want salary I want birth date birth date underscore underscore C Default value, I want current date. So I use a function name as today for a default value. External ID is set to false. I want to add a description for this. Description. Another description. This is a, a basically will hold birth date because it's a it's not a precision it's not a currency field so I'm not I'm removing this current precision 
and as well as scale as well and required okay let's make it required so i make it mandatory required track field history as said to false the thing which I missed here is label. I need to add a label. Label I've already added. Label is already there, so I'm customizing this. Label as birth date. And make sure the tags, take care of the tags. If, any tag, if anything is wrong with the tags, it will not get updated track field history and type is equal to date in similar way if you want to add an email field that can also be add email field so let's see how to add an email field so I copy this okay we have got field two times so I remove this one and field we have fields here fields here make sure that the tags are closed properly that's the field one that's field two and so on i remove this gap between them required set to true required track history field external value and field and that's one field this is another field i want to add a new field so to add a new field i again copy paste it or first i start i'm going to add a field for email id field and here in this field First is full name, same full name. Okay, one thing it's full name and it should be email underscore underscore C. Description, we can have a description. I can add a description. Get email ID from user. External ID external id set to false label is email and required i set to false this time this is not a mandatory field and type i set as email email type and if you want to make sure that this will be a unique email id so i can add a unique tag here unique and set to false so if you want to make it unique then make it true else set the value as false so these are the three values three fields I have added here first for salary type is currency type second is date type for date of birth and third one is for email so let's save it so I save this And once I saved it, I need to refresh it on the server because if I check it on the server right now, I'm not getting any fields. The fields have not been added until and unless we do not synchronize it. We need to deploy it on the server. So right now you can see we don't have fields. We don't have the custom fields. Only one standard field is there. That is the BISP custom object. And also you can, you can see I'm getting an error message because it is not saved on the server. So right click and click on force.com and say save or select save to server yes and again select yes so the deployment will start and it will take some time to deploy so just wait it will take some time to deploy the value and once it is done it will show us a confirmation message that the fields has been deployed successfully on the custom object in the current application
now i am getting one message that save to server will override the selected associated components on the server so are you sure you want to save the components or you want to override the existing one so i click on yes and give permission to override so finally it will deploy the fields it will create the fields on the object or to custom object so as you can see here while deployment deployment i am getting an error message here save error so the error is the tag should be fields not instead of field so just take it as i told you i make this error explicitly so that just to demonstrate you just to explain you that tags are very important and the especially the tag names are very important so if the tag names are wrong then it will not get updated it will not get deployed on the server on the application so make sure that all the tags will be closed and the labeled properly and now finally if i deploy it on the server it will get deployed on my server so you can see it's deploying now finally on the server and there are total five updates the updates has been done and once the updates are finished we can go and have a we can go and have a look so when i refresh my application you can see the three custom fields have been created successfully birth date email and salary with their api name respectively with their data types and uh, if you want to look at the description the, dis so the description will also have been added now first thing you have to do is you need to click on bisp force object and have a look whether that field have been added or not so you can see only salary and birthdays have been added because they are required field so remember one thing only the required field will get added on the form and rest of the fields which are not required we need to add them explicitly by ourselves like email field is not set as required so i need i drag and drop email field and let's have a look again new sometimes what happen while you add a custom field still you will not be able to get the fields here still you can see the uh, that's the that's the current uh, default values are coming but the email field is not coming so that is because of the security issues so how to solve that issue click on setup click on setup manage users profiles profile look for administrator profile system administrator profile within system administrator profile scroll down to field level security and within field level security look set the custom field level security so click on the security bispforce.com object and here you can see the email field is not there is no uh, read access given permission to this profile so i click on edit and i simply check this i enable the fields i enable this field and edit access as well save it that's all that's all you need to do and now if we go and have a look bispforce.com object abc you can see the email field has been added successfully and now we can complete the record salary 25000 25000 birth date 1980 and email sam at uh, let's say sam at the rate yahoo.com and save the record so the record has been created successfully so that's how we can add custom fields by using force.com ide there are 21 fields which can be added by using force.com ide to know more about this keep looking the videos i will be going to post so in next video i will be going to tell you that how can we add more fields or how to add more fields onto custom object by using force.com ide If you have any issues, you can write to us on www.bispbspt20s.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. You can connect with us for for customized training on salesforce.com. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.